Now, let's see if we have instead of two cuts, let's take a situation of three cuts. Now, three cuts. Now, three cuts if I do it in one direction. Now, if I do these three cuts like this, one, two, and three. So, these three cuts are in single direction. Three cuts in single direction, it will give me four identical pieces. Four identical pieces. Now, instead of doing in one direction, let me do it in two directions. Now, if I do it in two directions, it could be one in one direction and two in another direction. So, let me do it this way. So, let me cut this horizontally two cuts like this. These two cuts will divide this into three pieces. Okay. So, that will divide this into three pieces. Now, I will cut. This is horizontally. Now, I let me cut it vertically like that. Vertically like that. So, I am saying I am cutting like that. Right. You can see if I cut it vertically like that, that will divide this entire thing into two pieces. So, this one cut, this one cut, this one cut is dividing into two pieces. And these two cuts are dividing into three pieces. So totally, I'll get two into three, six pieces. So I'll get, I'll get two into three, six pieces. I hope you're getting it. I hope you're getting it. Now, let me do this little differently. Now, if I have, instead of doing in two different directions, let me cut one one, one in three different directions. Let me cut horizontally. Let me cut vertically. If I cut it horizontally, this one will give me two pieces. If I cut it vertically like this, it will also give me two pieces. This is one piece. This is one piece. Right? And on this face also, if I divide, if I cut it in on this face also equally, that will give me two more pieces. So, total number of pieces will be 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8 pieces. So, what you can observe here is, if I am cutting it into 3 different directions, I am able to divide, in each direction it is dividing into 2 pieces. One cut gives 2 pieces, this one cut gives 2 pieces, this one cut gives 2 pieces. So, 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Here in this case, one cut is giving me 2 pieces, 2 cuts is giving me 3 pieces, so 2 into 3 is six pieces. So, what did you understand from this? What I understood from this is, if I am doing cuts in a single direction, I am getting the least number of identical pieces. So, that will give me least number of identical pieces. But if I want more, that means I want maximum number of identical pieces. To get maximum, the same three cuts have to be divided into three different directions. One cut on in one direction, one cut in another direction, one cut in another direction. So that will give me, this one cut will give me two pieces, this cut will give me two pieces, this cut will be give me two pieces. So totally, there will be eight identical pieces. You know, here I cannot draw and explain, but you have to imagine, when I cut it this way, there is there are two pieces coming out. And if I cut this way, you'll get two pieces. If I cut this way, there will be two pieces. So, totally there will be eight identical pieces. So, how do we handle this question now when you have nine cuts? So, let's see that. So, in case of nine cuts, the way you will be looking at it is, now as we have nine cuts, let's divide this nine equally in three directions. So, nine divided by three. Now, what is nine divided by three? Nine divided by three is three. So, I'll do three cuts in one direction, three cuts in another direction, three cuts in another direction. So, in this direction, I'll divide this into three cuts. So, this three cuts, this three cuts will divide into four pieces. So, this three will give me four pieces. Similarly, I will cut three cuts in this direction. That will give me another, you can see the small ones getting formed here. Can you see that? Three into four. Can you see? So, this 3 will give me 4. So, 4, 4 is a 16. So, that you can see now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, now, once again, if you cut it in this direction, if you cut it in this direction, what happens? That will give, once again, divide into 4 pieces. So, you will get 4 into 4 into 4. That is 64 pieces. 
you just need to imagine this so now it is becoming a 4 by 4 by 4 kind of a, a cube cube instead of you know this three cuts is dividing into four cubes here and this three cuts into four pieces there so you can see on one face you can see 16 cubes into another four 16 into four will give you 64 cubes so in short to get the maximum number of cubes you need to divide the cuts equally so if you divide the cuts equally you'll get maximum number of cubes that's the way you answer this question so your answer is 64